Hi guys, welcome back to my tutorial channel. Today's topic is about centroid and center of gravity. Let me define the two terms. Centroid is the geometric center of a body, while center of gravity is where the total weight or the resultant weight of a body passes through. Problems of this topic can be solved in two ways. First, by integration, and secondly, by composite figures. Recall the following formula. Take note that x bar, y bar, and z bar are the coordinates of the centroid or the center of gravity. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Please like and leave your comments on videos. So have fun learning! Let us have the first problem. Locate the centroid of the area bounded by the curve x squared equals to 8y and the line x equals to 2y. So we have this curve represented by this equation x squared equals to 8y and this line represented by x is equals to 2y. So in solving problems of integration, we normally consider a vertical strip or a horizontal strip. So that is, uh, we're taking, uh, we are considering a differential area. So in this case, I'm taking the vertical strip or the vertical differential area. So in this case, okay, so this dimension here is your dx because that is along the x-axis. And then the, cent the, the distance of the centroid of this differential area from the y-axis is called x. Now, along the vertical axis or the y-axis, this distance here is bounded now, by the curve, this curve here, which is equals to x squared, equals to 8y, and the horizontal curve here along x, which is y equals to 0. So, uh, if we represent this distance here, so that's, that's going to be now y2, which is equals to, okay, x squared over 8. So, that is from this equation here. You get y equals to x squared over 8. And since this is point here, y is equal to 0, so the difference between these two points here is just equals to x squared over 8. Now, this distance here from the x-axis, we represent that as y1. Now, this point is bounded or located on the line x equals to, to y. So the difference between this point and this point here, which is y equals to 0, is actually equals to uh, x over 2, which is just that point on this line. So that is from this equation here. So we have x over 2. So the distance of the centroid of this differential area with respect to the x-axis is now actually the difference between y1 and y2. And then we divide it by 2, so we get this half distance. And then we add y2, so we get the total distance. So we have y1 minus y2 divided by 2, we get this distance, and then plus y2. So we can simplify this further as y1 plus y2 over 2. Now it's very important that we get the point of intersection of these two curves here. So how do we get the point of intersection 0, 0, and 4, and 2? So let me show you how we get that intersection. So for the point of intersection, we have the equation x squared equals to 8y. Let's call this your equation 1. And then another equation would be x is equals to 2y. So let's call this equation 2. Now we can just equate 1 and 2 so that we will get x equals to 4 and then y is equals to 2. Also, if we substitute x equals to 0, obviously for y, it is also equals to 0. So we have these two points of intersection. So remember the formula for the centroid of area. So we have that ax bar equals to integral of x dA. So for area, since we don't have the area here, so we might just get also the area by integration. So we have that differential area is equals to, okay, so what is this area of this differential strip? So we have, we have y1 minus y2 
that is a vertical distance, y1 minus y2 times dx. So you have y1 minus y2 times dx. So this is equals to uh, substitute the value in terms of x because this is dx. So that it would be readily integrable. So for y1, we have x over 2. And then for y2, we have x squared over 8. So this is quantity dx. Okay, since all the variables now are in terms of x, so we can now integrate both sides of the equation. So integral of dA is actually the area A. So the integral of this one here would be x over 2 minus x squared over 8 and then dx. And then the limit would be, since this is dx, so we have to find that limit along the x-axis from 0 to 4. So this is 0 to 4. So this is equals to the integral of x over 2, we have x squared over 4 minus x cubed over 24. So this is from 0 to 4. Substituting the lower and upper limits, we have 4 squared over 4 minus 4 cubed over 24. So the area now is equals to 4 over 3. So from the formula of the centroid, we have that integral of x dA. So we get this already for the area. Now we will get the integral of x dA. So the integral of x dA is equals to the integral of x. And then we get the differential area. So this is actually the differential area. So we just copy it in terms of x. So we have here x over 2 minus x squared over 8 dx. So simplifying, we have x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 8 dx. This is from 0 to 4. So let's evaluate the integral of this function. So we have x cubed. We have x cubed. Let's have. So let us evaluate the integral of this function. So we have x cubed over 6 minus x to the fourth over 32. This is from 0 to 4. So this is equals now to substituting the upper, lower and upper limits. So we have 4 cubed over 6 minus 4 to the fourth over 32. So this is actually equals to 2.67. So we have that for integral of x d a. But then, from this equation here, x bar is equals to integral of x d a over the area a. So this is equals to 2.67 over the area which is 4 over 3. So, it follows that your x bar is equals to 2. So, we have that for x bar. Let us now get the value of y bar. So, let us write the formula for y bar. So, we have a y bar equals to integral of y dA. Now, we already have the value for the area. So, we only need this expression here the integral of y dA. So this is equals to, okay, y. y is that distance of the centroid of the vertical strip with respect to the x-axis. So that is that distance, which is equals to y1 plus y2 over 2, and then the differential area, which is equals to y1 minus y2, this length, times dx. We have y1 minus y2 dx. So we can take out the constant 1 half. So this is now the integral of y1 plus y2 quantity y1 minus y2. 
dx. Now take note that these two terms here are actually equivalent to the difference of two squares. So this is one half of y1 squared minus y2 squared dx. So we can now substitute the value for y1 and y2. So this is equals to one half integral of the quantity y1, which is x over 2 squared minus quantity y2 x squared over 8 squared. So this is dx. So simplifying, we have 1 half integral of the quantity x squared over 4 minus x to the fourth over 64 dx. So evaluating now the integral, okay, we put the limit of the integral since this is dx so the limit would be along the x-axis. So that is from 0 to 4. So this is equals to 1 half integral of this expression here. We have x cubed over 12 minus x to the fifth over 320 from 0 to 4. Substitute the limits. We have 1 half of quantity. 4 cubed over 12 minus 4 to the fifth over 320. So this is equals to 1.067. Knowing that from the formula of y bar, y bar is equals that integral of y dA over the area. So this is equals to the expression integral of yda 1.067 divided by the area which we have as 4 over 3 so y bar is now equals to 0 0.8 so we have that final answer for y bar <music>